learn I learned that native people have many prophecies about this time and begin to hear these <laughs> over and over and so I kind of more or less memorized a lot of them and what I'd like to do now is share with you some of those you know every day now on the TV I hear what the elders talked about back then even just last night there's a sign that's to come before the third shaking of the earth which I'm going to get to I'll explain what all these mean last night on the news they were talking about it we'll come up to that they say at the beginning of each cycle of time the great spirit comes down through a messenger he makes a strong appearance upon the earth and we are coming to an end of a cycle now it's not the first cycle there was a cycle of spirit there was a cycle of the mineral the rock there was a cycle of the plant and now we're in the cycle of the animal coming to the end of that and beginning the cycle of the human being when we get into the cycle of the human being the highest and greatest powers that we have will be released to us and be released from that light or soul that we carry to the mind but right now we're coming to the end of the animal cycle when we have investigated ourselves and learned what it is to be like an animal on this earth and at the beginning of this cycle of time long ago the great spirit came down and he made an appearance he gathered the peoples of the earth together they say on an island that is now beneath the water and he said to the human beings he said I'm going to send you to four directions and over time I'm going to change you to four colors but I'm going to give you some teachings and you will call these the original teachings and when you come back together with each other you will share these so that you can live and have peace on earth and a great civilization will come about and he said during this cycle of time I'm going to give each of you two stone tablets and he said when I give you those stone tablets don't cast them upon the ground because if any of the brothers and sisters of the four directions and the four colors cast their stone tablets on the ground not only will the human beings have a hard time but almost the earth itself would die And so he gave us each a responsibility and we call that the guardianship and to the Indian people the red people he gave the guardianship of the earth and we were to learn during this cycle of time the teachings of the earth and the plants that grow from the earth and the foods that you can eat and the herbs that are healing so that when we came back together with the other brothers and sisters we could share this knowledge with them because something good was to happen on the earth and to the south he gave the yellow race of people the guardianship of the wind and they were to learn about the sky and breathing and how to take that within ourselves for spiritual advancement and they were to share that with us in this time and to the west with his blackness of night he gave the black race of people the guardianship of the water and they were to learn the teachings of the water which is the chief of the elements it is the most humble and also the most powerful when I went to the University of Washington and learned that it was a black man that invented blood plasma, it didn't surprise me because blood is water. And the elders already told me that black people would bring the teachings of water to humanity. And to the north, where there's white snow on this continent, he gave the white race of people the guardianship of the fire. And if you look at the center of many of the things they do, you will find the fire in this light bulb. They say that is a white man's fire. If you look at the center of a car, you will find a spark. If you look at the center of the airplane, the train, you will find the fire. And the fire moves, also consumes. This is why it was the white brothers and sisters that begin to move upon the face of the earth and reunite us as a human family. Because they had the guardianship of the fire, this was their responsibility. And so a long time passed, and the Great Spirit gave each of the four races two stone tablets. Ours are kept at the Hopi Reservation in Arizona at Four Corners area on 3rd Mesa. I've talked to people from the black race of people. Their stone tablets are at the foot of Mount Kenya. They are kept by the Kikuyu tribe. I once had the honor of presenting a sacred pipe of the Kikuyu tribe carved from the red pipe stone of Mount Kenya. One time I was at, a, at a, an Indian spiritual gathering about 15 years ago and a, a medicine man from South Dakota put a beaded medicine wheel in the middle of the gathering and it had the four colors and the four directions and he asked the people where is this from and they said oh probably montana south dakota maybe saskatchewan he said this is from 
Kenya. It was beaded just like ours, same colors. The stone tablets of the yellow race of people are kept by the Tibetans in Tibet. And the guardians of the traditions of the people of Europe are the Swiss. In Switzerland, they still have the mask a day when each family brings out its mask. They still know the colors of their families. They still know their symbols, some of them. I went to school with some people at the University of Washington from Switzerland and they shared this with me. Each of these four keepers happened to be people that live in the mountains. If you went straight through the Hopi reservation to the other side of the world, you would come out in Tibet. The Tibetan word for sun is the Hopi word for moon. And the Hopi word for moon is the Tibetan word for sun because they're on the opposite sides of the world. <clears throat> it was some people from the yellow race of people. In 1976, we, because the United States was celebrating 200 years of freedom, they have in this bicentennial. They, some of the native people thought this was significant and they carried a sacred pipe bundle from the west coast to the east coast of this land. And I particularly think, I was thinking last night as we were having a circle out here about this. They said that the roads of this land would either go north-south or they would go east-west. If they went north-south, we would come together as brothers and sisters. If they went east-west, there would be destruction and almost the earth itself would have a hard time. So you all know the roads went east-west. They said things then would be lost from the east to the west and the north to the south, but they would come back from the west to the east and come back from the north to the south. They would be lost from the south to the north. So nine years ago in 1976, from the west to the east coast of this land, from San Francisco to Washington, D.C., people carried a sacred pipe bundle by hand on foot across this land. My aunt had dreamt 15 years earlier and that dream was in a book that people would throw rocks and bottles at that pipe bundle as they carried it across the land. People that didn't like them. <laughs> sure enough, that came about. People threw, but as my aunt seen it in her dream, it only come so far and then they dropped and nothing touched it. When they got up to the top of the Rockies, they hit a hard storm and there was an elder man, he had long white hair, he said, I will, I will carry it now. They had a van, and then they had people walking by the van carrying that bundle, and the old man got out of the van, he carried it clear through that storm. He was so cold when he got back in the van that somebody touched his hair and it fell. His hair was frozen. You have to be really cold for your hair to freeze, but that old man carried it through that storm because they said if we carried this bundle across the earth, the powers would begin to come back. It was carried from west to east. They said a spiritual fire would be lit in the north and it would come down the northwest coast of this land and when it gets to Puget Sound, it will go inland. I think this nine years later is the gathering in the north myself. That's why I came here. <laughs> this is it. We have the capacity to start the spiritual fire now here. The old people long ago seen it and foretold it and I'm going to come to that. So we went through the cycle of time. Each of the four races went to their directions and they learned their teachings. It was in Newsweek magazine not too long ago that eight out of ten foods that people eat on the earth were developed here in the Western Hemisphere because that was our guardianship to learn the teachings of the earth and the things that grow from the earth. And we were given a sacred handshake to show when we came back together as brothers and sisters that we remembered the teachings. And we were, it was indicated on the stone tablets that the Hopis had that the first brothers and sisters that would come back to them would come as turtles across the land. They would be human beings, but they would come as turtles. So when the time came close, the Hopis built a special village to welcome the turtles that would come across the land. And they got up in the morning and looked out at sunrise and they seen, they looked out across the desert and they saw the Spanish conquistadores coming covered in armor like turtles across the land. So this was then. So they went out to the Spanish man and they extended their hand, hoping for the handshake, but into the hand the Spanish man dropped a trinket. And so word spread throughout North America that there was going to be a hard time, that maybe some of the brothers and sisters had forgot the sacredness of all things and all the human beings were going to suffer for this on the earth.